So we're waiting for this hearing to start this morning. Could you tell us your name and what this is about? Yeah, my name is Amina Berhumi. I'm the advocacy and policy lead for the Muslim Civic Coalition. We're here, this is a historic day. We are here to honor Wadiya Fayyumi. He's the first Palestinian American Muslim victim after October 2023. We're here to honor him. We're here to uplift his story. And we do that by making sure that we're talking about how dehumanizing rhetoric and dehumanizing language leads to our children being killed. Could you explain what happened to him? He was murdered in Chicago uh, because of the political misinformation and rhetoric that was being spewed by our elected officials. So it's important to recognize and tie that misinformation leads to hate crimes. And that's why we're here today. We're he here was six to, years old. He was six years old. And when did this happen? This happened shortly after October. Yes. And this hearing today is going to talk about hate crimes in general? We're talking about hate crimes and how misinformation leads to hate crimes. In particular, we're uplifting his story. His mother is here with us. And we're seeing this hearing as honoring his memory and continuing the story. We have been in the halls of Congress, Code Pink, uh, and been to about 10 different hearings talking about the rise in anti-Semitism. Is this the first time that there will be a, a hearing to talk about the attacks that have happened to the Palestinian Muslim Arab community since October? So this is the first time conversations are being had in a hearing to talk about Palestinian hate, um, Muslim hate, and we're here to talk about all sorts of hate and how they're bad for our country and there's no space and room for them because ultimately they target our children. Thank you so much. Thank you for organizing this.